Hi friends, in this video we will talk about the 5 best camera phones in 2020. I will share with you my hours of research and personal opinion on the 5 best camera phones in 2020, and this research is based on the price, performance, features and quality of the product. If you are interested in buying the product, links are mentioned below the description. Let's start the video. Coming on fifth number is OnePlus 8 Pro. OnePlus has stepped up its game when it comes to smartphone cameras, bringing the new OnePlus 8 Pro closer than ever to the best of the rest, thanks to the fact it's powered by Sony's new 12-bit IMX 689 sensor. With a large 1.1.4 size and 1.12 micron pixels, the OnePlus 8 Pro's main camera can capture stunning bokeh and clear-as-day photos, even in middling light. It isn't just the sensor that specs out on the new OnePlus's main snapper, thanks to phase detection autofocus and laser autofocus, not to mention OIS, it locks on quickly and keeps things steady across photography and video. Unlike periscope zoom cameras, the OnePlus 8 Pro can't compete when it comes to getting up close and personal to subjects from a distance. That said, its 8MP f2.4 telephoto camera packs a 3x optical zoom and OIS, so betters the iPhone 11 Pro's max focal length. The real boon when it comes to improvements on the OnePlus 8 Pro has got to be that 48MP GoPro S ultra-wide camera though. With a huge pixel count for an ultra-wide and open f2.2 aperture to let in plenty of light and a 14mm angle of view, it gets plenty in frame and grabs more resolution than virtually any other ultra-wide camera around. Finally, OnePlus's 12MP color filter camera. This bizarre addition captures a twisted take on reality, giving standard colors a neon, almost metallic screen printed finish. Humming on fourth number is Google Pixel 4. The Pixel 4 is probably the most mixed bag in our list, on the one hand, it's a fantastic camera phone with capabilities, even DSLR users can only dream of, made possible by the almost 5 minute long exposure astrophotography mode. On the other hand, however, it's a pricey flagship with poor battery life and no ultra-wide camera. If you're thinking about picking one up, therefore, we'd urge you to go for the Pixel 4 XL if you hope to make it through a full day, as this bigger Pixel 4 lasts that bit longer. Both phones have the same excellent dual camera, and it's a corker. Despite its main sensor being just 12.2 MP, similar to the iPhone 11 Pro, it grabs beautifully balanced pictures almost every time. The Pixel 4s also introduce a handy exposure control when taking a shot, so you can boost shadows separately to overall brightness, ensuring detail pops even in darker spots and can stay tapered in highlights. Coming on third number is Huawei P40 Pro. The Huawei P40 Pro is the best camera phone you can buy for under $1,000, it's that simple. In fact, for a certain type of photographer one who values a telephoto camera, it's just the best camera phone around, period. The main camera's lens is a pretty standard f1.9 aperture on paper, but with a huge sensor size, for a smartphone and OIS, combined with Huawei's mighty electronic image stabilization, it's still a low-light star. This phone can pretty much see in the dark, even in automatic mode, something no other non-Huawei phones can do. There's also a 40MP f1.8 ultra-wide camera, a 12MP telephoto camera that's capable of 5x optical zoom or 50x digital zoom, and a time-of-flight TOF sensor for creating bokeh effects. Photos taken on the P40 Pro are high on detail and low on noise. Unlike Samsung, Huawei's photos don't look overly sharpened, and while they aren't as natural and neutral as those taken on the Oppo Find X2 Pro, many will prefer Huawei's comparatively punchy style. As far as zoom goes, while the P40 Pro may not get quite as close as the Galaxy S20 Ultra, the phone costs a lot less, and more importantly, delivers more consistent image quality across its cameras. Humming on second number is iPhone 11 Pro. The iPhone 11 Pro doesn't just feature the best smartphone camera Apple's ever made, it's also the best camera phone money can buy for a certain type of user. It's reliable you take a shot, and it's likely going to be a good one, even in middling light. Dynamic range is strong, and with three cameras, it's versatile too. The primary camera features a 26mm focal length, perfect for grabbing everyday snaps. The ultra-wide camera takes a step back so you don't have to, getting more in the frame with its 13mm focal length. As for the telephoto camera, as with the iPhone XS, it zooms into your subject with a 52mm focal length perfect for portraits. Well there's no manual mode and the 12MP resolution is meager on paper compared to some of the competition, results still impress, and Apple has introduced a new night mode, which can hold the shutter open for incredible low-light photography. Humming on first number is Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. The new Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is the best camera phone you can buy today, because it does everything well. Its primary 108 megapixel camera, which showed promise in the Galaxy S20 Ultra earlier this year but was hampered by glitches, has been improved with the use of a new dedicated laser autofocus sensor. 
the 12MP telephoto uses a folded lens design to achieve 5x optical power, which obliterates the 2x optical zoom of the iPhone 11 Pro and can deliver lossless 10x zoom, as well as up to 50x digital zoom. The ultra zoom really is best in class when compared to other camera phones on the market. It uses a roughly 5x optical zoom with a high-resolution sensor to create virtually lossless 10x zoom images. Packing a fun single-take mode, the whole S20 range is social media ready, capturing a range of photos and videos simultaneously so you can snap once, then decide later. They're also all 8K ready, shooting the highest resolution footage on the block. If you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe the channel thanks for watching.